everybody, welcome aboard the Cessna 172. You know what? We shall land it, but not down there. Everybody, today we're gonna try to land this plane anywhere but the ground. Take a look at this airplane right there in the sky. This is definitely a C5 Galaxy. It doesn't have a vertical stabilizer. That's great. Everybody, we shall land our Cessna inside of that plane. I think that is a brilliant idea. In order to pull that off, let's go ahead and boom, put that door open. That C5 Galaxy, which is still standing in the sky, is ready to be landed inside of. You know what? We have this GTA 5 mission, but this could actually maybe be a thing in reality. I mean, a Cessna would never be able to catch up with this kind of airplane. But this is standing still, so this is fine. Oh, we missed it. We missed it. It's quite hard. All right, we shall try this again. It's not that easy to land inside of it, you know? Especially when it's not moving. Whoa! Uh, all right, this is a lot better for, uh... It's kind of like hijacking a C5. Definitely a brilliant idea. This would definitely be able to work in real life. All right, precision! All right, come on. Yes, precision. Precision is now needed. Okay, yes! Everybody, we flat... Oh, our wing is kind of cutting through. But there, yes! We have actually landed a little plane inside the C5... Galaxy, and there's nothing that could stop me there. We are inside of the C5, and we can even perhaps there you go take off again oh, no, onto the wall. Yes, everybody, there we go, and it's gone. Perfect. Nobody, why doesn't the C5 move? It is because X Plane restricts that you know moving things cannot be collided with. Everybody, things are going great. And everybody, today we're gonna follow the aviation dream of making airports that are not on the ground but actually in the air. You know, not really in forms of planes, but everybody, airship. Everybody, an aerial landing field on top of an airship. An idea that isn't so far from reality. I mean, take a look. We had flying aircraft carriers where you'd have little biplanes hooked up to airships. I found that really cool. Take a look at this interesting concept right here. This is in no way a real image. We've got a literal hangar here on top of a U.S. Navy um, <laughs> airship. I think that's quite ridiculous. You know, while I was flying around the Hindenburg airship, I was thinking, you know what? We should, we have to make a runway on top of this thing and fly airplanes on an airship. And so already I did that. And the designer, I've added some struts that would hold a little platform made out of uh, probably asphalt would be a bit too heavy. Let's consider a wooden deck. That wouldn't be a big issue, right? And there we go. We've got our Hindenburg runway. Everybody take a look at our majestic new airship, the Hindenburg Remix. Take a look right here. The majestic airship has now turned its engines off is now in somewhat of a airfield operation mode let's see if we can just quickly uh, land here on this thing come on it can't be that hard right i mean we're on an ultra light this thing is gonna work no issues oh we crashed the Fuck now. Yes, everybody. Well, where would our high-tech idea make sense? Obviously, at highly populated areas where you don't want to waste a lot of land space. I mean, everywhere around the world, we now have airports that are, you know, kind of pushed into the water because you can't waste much space on land. So this would make sense. Also, this would make it portable. You could spin your airship around according to weather, you know, according to the winds. Although that probably wouldn't really be very realistic. You could fly to anywhere. You could take big airliners to the Caribbean and land directly yeah this is absolutely a stupid idea this is absolutely phenomenal there we go we can take off i mean the whole stupidity is is you know i don't know how even this would work because obviously you have this huge balloon filled with hydrogen that if you crash into it with a 737 you'd have a hindenburg disaster 2.0 also this runway is absolutely too short that is uh, actually quite ridiculous there we go uh there we go we we're barely able to make it despite this thing being at a height of 500 meters you know above ground not good. All right, let's try to perform a landing on this thing. Obviously, another big problem is also the vast weight of airplanes. I mean, you can't really fit more than one airplane on this thing anyway, but the Hindenburg had a relatively high payload of over 190,000 kilograms. That would be more than enough to carry actually a 737. This is not actually that unrealistic that we'll be able to land a 737 on this thing and the balloon won't go down. Yeah, lighter than air weight-wise lift-wise would be able to actually happen, right? I mean, not bad. Let's go ahead and land. Oh, no, not not in... No, not again! Jeez, that's been spectacular. Yes, everybody, don't get me started on safety. Good. Oh, Jesus. 
That's going to be a really bad landing as well. Oh. Actually, we, we stopped that way. Not good. Yeah, this runway is absolutely way too short to any, operate anything at all. After all, this thing is only not even 200 meters long. Which will become even a challenge for the Twin Otter. This plane is able to fly anywhere. But I mean, we're talking about such a challenging airfield now. I mean, we're also at a slightly higher elevation where you have uh, less air, you know. So you have a faster ground speed moving along. Worst performance overall. So this is practically impossible. Let me see if we can make it on the Twin Otter. All right, there you go. Come on. No, that is, I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked that this didn't work. Yes, the Hindenburg with its original size could only carry helicopters. Very disappointing. We shall size things up a little bit. And actually, let's maybe try and really fulfill this dream of an aircraft carrier. Let's we'll go ahead and put the X-plane aircraft carrier on top of such a thing. So, in order to achieve that, we have to size the Hindenburg up by 200%, which is good. That also brings the lift capability quite up. I think also by 200%. So that means we'll be able to maybe build a small airport. Let's go ahead and try that. Yes, everybody, we are serious. Have you ever been on a aircraft carrier at this altitude? Take a look at this. Everybody, the Hindenburg at 200% of original size is now carrying a proper aircraft carrier at an altitude of <laughs> 23,000 feet. Um, I placed it a little high here above the Alps. The problem is it's not moving, just not really helping for performance. I guess you're rather just better off jet landing here at this airbase down there. Let's go ahead and see if we can fly here, which I mean, taking off is obviously not a problem at all. There we go. Full power. You know, here you can truly see how sluggish airplanes become at this kind of altitude, which is why airports that are higher, that have even less dense air, tend to have a longer runway because they have to. There you go. We are at practically 50 knots, but no problem at all. We could practically take off at zero speeds because we can just nicely just jump off and gain lots of speed and lots of lift very easily. So taking off is never an issue. I think a landing will be. Let me go ahead and try that. We've lost all our altitude. Everybody, don't even get me started. Like, look at this performance. We're at 180 knots indicated. And we're flying at 250 knots towards this aircraft carrier. This is absolutely crazy. Um, don't ask me why I placed it at such an altitude. All right, there you go. We're super fast. There we go. I practically the only way that we're going to be able to land here is through crashing. And, and, ah, good. All right. Come on. Maybe something that can fly here is something that can fly here onto an aircraft carrier. Take a look at this beautiful F-14. I think the only, uh, the only thing that we can do is not put the landing gear down in order to stop on this runway. I mean, yes, we could use the arrestor cables. They just don't work up this high for some reason. Come on. I kind of like that. Maybe that could work, actually. Yeah, you just practically crash as, <laughs> as, as badly as you can. I mean, the problem is, if you were to just say we open the canopy now, you would see that we we're soon starting to, to, you know, suffocate because we are so high that... <sighs> Come on, lower altitude. All right, here we go. That is more likely just above the valley here, not far away from the airport. This will give us a whole lot of a better performance. All right, to be very realistic, I mean, this thing could already now be used as a general aviation airfield. Beautiful. Come on, stop now, stop now, stop now, stop now. Full power. Yes, everybody, they, again, as a general aviation airfield, this has perfectly worked, and we are in the sky, and this plane will definitely not do any big effects on stability off this airship. I should talk about stability. Pretty sure this thing would flip over. I mean, the center of gravity is messed up. This is definitely not thought through. Rather, you have to hang like a platform from beneath the um, airship. Otherwise, it will flip over, I'm pretty sure. Good. When it comes to anything bigger, though, there's definitely no chance. This, uh, I mean, this is 737. It's never going to work, right? It's, again, quite a big of a problem that the aircraft carrier isn't moving now. Like, this is only a few hundred meters long as well. Although this Hindenburg airship is already bigger than anything we could ever imagine, this thing wouldn't be big enough for anything... Oh, airliner worthy. Okay, yeah. See, we can't even use or cheat anymore because we're so low to the ground. We just crash so off. Thank you. We're just gonna... That's not gonna work. Come on. Yeah! 
that. Oh, it's just going to run right through. Am I right? Why have I been so absolutely stupid? I guess our only option that we have left is to make this thing even bigger, but I'm not going to go through that. Jesus Christ. I mean, there is a reason why anything that's ever gotten close to like 1920s imaginations of having, you know, airships that carry airplanes on them is perhaps aerial refueling. But anything that can, it's just not going to be safe. Like, you know, just have the lightest breeze, the lightest storm, and your airplanes would all fall off. Everything would suck. This in no way is going to work. Jeez, why are the hangers also here? This is absolutely a stupid photo. So everybody, uh, thank you so, so much for watching this experimental video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.